So in this video, we are going to focus on setting up Hacks Flexil. If you have watched my previous videos or have watched my previous Udemy course, you can skip this video altogether. But if you haven't, I recommend you watch this so you can see how the setup works for Hacks Flexil. I have created a custom Hacks Flexil template, which we are going to use for this course. And the installation is quite simple, but it does require Node.js. So if you haven't got it on your machine already, go ahead and go to the Node.js website, download the latest LTS version and install it. To make sure you do have it installed, if you're not actually sure, open up your terminal and write the command node-v. And if you can see a version in the terminal, it means you have it installed already. So once you do have it installed, go ahead and run this command. What this is gonna do is kind of clone this directory, rename it to whatever you want and get rid of anything that is Git related on this registry. So let's go ahead and copy this line of code. Before we execute this command in our terminal, let's make a few changes to it. So what I wanna do is take a specific branch and this will be the shader tutorial branch. And I'm gonna create a new folder called shader tutorial as well but of course you can call this whatever you want. And now when I change the directory into my shader tutorial, it should have everything related to the game engine inside. So let's go ahead and open this inside Visual Studio Code. Now at the time of recording this video, I only have part one inside the branch, but when you're downloading the branch and when you've got to this stage in the video, you should have multiple folders in here with different parts. So don't worry if yours looks a bit different from mine. As you can see here, part one has a simple play state file with just a box and a gray background. So let's go through the steps of running this and displaying it. First of all, we will need to install all the dependencies related to this file. So let's go ahead and run npm i or npm install. This will take some time, so I'm gonna skip the video forward. And once that's done, we can also run npm audit fix to fix the vulnerability issues. And once that's done, we can simply run npm start to build the game. But before we do that, I highly recommend to run a compilation server, which will cache everything we've compiled previously. To do that, simply type npm run comp server and that will take care of all of it. Now we can go ahead and run npm start. What this is going to do is it's going to create a server for us based on our game code. But we currently don't have any game code because we haven't compiled the game. So let's do that first by opening any file with the .hx extension and simply saving. What that will do is it's gonna build the game. It's gonna create a export folder for us and this will put everything that has been compiled into it. The game by default will compile to a HTML5 game, but of course that can be changed to run a Flash game, a C++ game, so that'll be a native Mac or Windows game, and even a mobile game. So once that's done, you'll see some files in our export folder, including our index and our JavaScript code, and we can now go into our browser and navigate to the link it tells us to go to. So that's localhost 8080. And you'll see our game running with our blue box. In the next video, we are going to add the shader we created. So this kind of ugly green shader, we're gonna figure out how to put that into our game and apply it onto our sprite. As usual, like, subscribe, to my channel and if you want to get the next video without waiting till next week please look at the description below and get my Udemy course on shaders.